Hello and welcome fellow bookworms and film fans. Welcome to this week's episode of The Contented Narrative. We will be looking at Eeny Meeny by M.J. Arledge. Now, ironically, my dad asked me to review this one. Um, so it was his his um, request. But as I said, ironically, I have had this book for a good couple of years um, and I had already read it. Um, so when he said, oh, you know, do you fancy doing this one? I was like, oh, that's, that's a good ch good chance for a reread there. So I reread it and it did, it just, it, it stood up to what I remembered it was being in the first place. Because I know sometimes when you read books, when you reread them, you're like, oh, that, that isn't as good as I remember. Whereas with this one, I was like, oh, this is, this is really enjoyable. And it's just as good as before. So basically what it is, is it's, it's called Eeny Meeny. And it follows this cop that sees a pattern where someone, a serial killer, is capturing two people. She's capturing two, the, 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 the killer's capturing two people and they're, pu and they're putting them in a situation where the only way to get out of this situation is one of the people has to kill the other. That's literally the only way out. And, you know, at first it doesn't seem like a pattern, but then after a couple, the, the cop realises that, you know, she's up against a, a good adversary. And then as it goes on, it's just, I mean, it's genius. Because technically, this killer isn't actually killing any of these people themselves. I'm saying themselves because I don't want to give anything away about who the killer is. But so technically the killer isn't doing any of the killing. The killer is putting these people into situations and basically saying, for your survival, you have to kill one of them. But they're people that know each other very well. So the first one, I mean, this literally happens within the first first chapter, so it's not a spoiler, is a couple, is, is a boyfriend and girlfriend. So it's not two random people off the street where you might, th I mean, obviously, I'd hope, I'd hope that people wouldn't just be like, yep, yeah, I'd kill them. I'd like to think you think about it first, but so it's not a case of it, it's just a random stranger that you have nothing with. It's a case of, it's a, it's a, it's two people that know each other really well, and you you basically turn around and go, you kill this person, and then that's it. And then it follows as well afterwards when you look at the person that survives, it follows them because they've got to deal with the fact that they've killed someone that they care about a lot, and they've become a killer, and so it follows them. And I mean in one of them, you know, after, after, after the person is killed to, to escape, um, they literally, they can't handle their lives anymore. And they, they kill themselves because they just think that th what is the point of their life if they took somebody else's life to survive? And it's just such a fantastic, I mean, I'm like, I don't remember very much if I guessed it in the f the first time round reading it. I know I had an inkling at certain points of who it could possibly be, um, because it also interweaves an older story as well, um, which follows a, a child uh, in an abusive household with a mum and a and a dad, um, and then that that goes with the main story as well of of um, what's her name. Detective Inspector Helen Grace. Um, and so you kind of have it like, th there's there's little clues in it woven through that you go, ooh, could it be? But it's just honestly, it gets you at every turn. And I, I couldn't put it down the first time. I was really glad that my dad recommended that I do it for this channel because I mean, as you see, I have so many books there. For Christmas, I got about 14 books. Um, my to read list just keeps growing and I keep buying more. I'm, I'm literally, I, I can't help it. So when I do reread books, I try and make an effort to reread a couple of books at least, you know, at least once a month, if not, you know, a couple times a year, because I will keep books that I want to read again. And after I after I read Eeny Meeny, um, I literally went out and I bought the next one and I was like, I have to, I have to get more. And this author, MJ Arledge, is just so good at writing the story because sometimes you do find with detective stories as well that you're kind of like oh not not that great you know but we'll we'll give it a go you know we'll stick with it and you find that you don't like the main detective because they've got a massive flaw that everybody's got to see past and they learn to love themselves and blah 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 but with this one it's just so because because the main the main detective uh, di grace she's like well this is who i am deal with it and I'm just, she's unapologetic about who she is. And I'm like, great. But honestly, it gets, it gets a five out of five from me. It really does. Um, the ending, no issue with at all. Um, I, 
I just the idea that someone could get away with that that could that could kidnap a couple or you know friends and put them in that situation then what would you do in that situation as well and you'd like to think that you wouldn't kill someone but it it's so well written that literally at the end of it you go well would I and that that is why it's five out of five because it's just the whole thing you go no 100% I can't but like why would someone kill someone like why would you kill your boyfriend you can't do that but then you look at how it affects them when they're secluded and they know that the only way they're getting out is one of them dying. And it's just, it's fantastic. So if you haven't, I mean, Dad, you've probably read it already, which is why you, you recommended me do it. But if you haven't read this, I would recommend giving it a go. I would recommend reading MJ Arledge any day of the week. It is thoroughly enjoyable. And I, as I said, I could not put it down. Um, thank you so much, guys, for watching and your continued support. Uh, you can find me anywhere. <laughs> as I'm sure you're sick of me saying, but remember guys, always keep it contento.